Hey, welcome back to the Let's Play Y'all. Oh, crap. Oh, forgot to take that off. It's almost broken. You know, there's one part in my world I've been wanting to improve for many years. No, it's not the factory. Yes, it is the factory, but not right now. And it's this right here. This hole. Now, this is like a natural cave spawn, and I haven't really wanted to touch it because I like it. Because I like that it's natural, but I've broken through it with the subway system and my sewer. So now I just kind of want to pretty it up. I think I want to put a crane next to it and make it look like a little mining operation. Let's do it. It's crazy that I remember what this is here for. A long time, I think it was even on Pocket Edition. Uh, there was a cow that spawned right here and I wanted him for my cow farm. So I built this here back in Pocket Edition. How many years ago was that? Four? And I just never took it off. And this little floating chunk. You gotta go now. All right, so that's the base of it so far. Uh, I think that's a good spot. Now it's gonna go about yay high and come over and then it's gonna come down right here. Now I don't think I'm gonna use this for a mine, like for resources, but rather it's just clearing debris and it's gonna be holding like a giant rock. Okay, this is looking a bit interesting. Gonna need to put a counterweight over here. But the good thing about these that I'm holding, the grindstones, combined with chains, it actually looks like, well, you can make like pulley systems in this game. So got yeah, one about right there. And we want another one over here, and then you connect a chain between them. And then you take the chain down, and then make your platform down here. Doesn't that look cool? Huh. Hmm, I'm actually going to use tough as the counterweight. Wait, 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 wait. God, my inventory's so full. I hate it when this happens. Can you make tough stairs? You can't. What? Why not? So we use cobble deep slate. Of course you can make, yeah. I think that'll look good, sure. Ooh, oh, I forgot, that looks good. Okay, my inventory needs to screw off. That polished deep slate, oh, it even makes a nice sound. That looks like a good industrial block. That'll look good in the lab for like piping. Actually, you remember we've been looking for like a nice metal looking block. I think the best looking metal block in this game is the netherite block, but well, you know, you can't really get that. Um, well, you can, you just can't use it for building. This looks like it'll be a great alternative though. Okay, let's put a little counterweight here. Can I place this? Oh, ooh, got it. Does this look all right? Yeah, I like it. All right, so now we got the crane finished. Love how it turned out. Actually, I'm really like how it turned out. I guess it, that's what love means, but uh, now I gotta figure out what I wanna do with this down here. So I do have a sewer right there. Don't. I do have a sewer right, don't. And I want that to continue flowing down here. So, and I don't want this to look like a resource mine, like where I'm gathering coal and iron. I just want it to be like a stone mine. So I'm gonna set up like a few little holes that are leading into the sides here and clean it up a little, make it look more presentable and add some stuff like holding up this land here. All right, I landscaped this a little bit. Now there's like certain areas that looks like there should be holes, some or holes, I mean <laughs> entrances to like little areas. So I think I'm gonna have that one right there, maybe one right there, I'm gonna have a few down there. This is all just a mess. I'm like staring at it, I'm like, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> A trick you can do is start outlining it in stone like this, wherever your big hole is, and then you start kind of sporadically adding it out here like rock is thrown in some directions. And then of course mix in some cobble as well, don't make it just like all stone. By the way, if you guys didn't catch my last video, it was called Minecraft Build Ideas. I went around through my world and just started building random things such as this, a pumpkin in a wheelbarrow, small pumpkins. I actually put some stuff in the factory such as like a stone cutting station some shelves, coal pile. Wow, I just noticed my levels. Nice. <laughs> and you remember when we were struggling a few episodes back trying to make like some monitors with item frames and we would have to go somewhere in my world and like make a giant pixel art. Well, I didn't realize you can freaking make banners. And look at this. It's like some black screens and then this one's like slightly on with a blue screen. Also made some nice berry collecting areas for the uh, azalea trees, that's what they're called. This is that bubble coral, by the way. And in the process of making that video, uh, I went, I found Bob and he trades these, which is the small pads, what are those called? 
whatever those things are, I forgot their name, but they're the small versions of them, and I obviously traded as much as I could. And let me tell you, they make great decoration blocks for water. And he also sold dripstone, I found out. But anyway, back to the task at hand. Take a look at it. It looks so much better from that random hole that's been sitting there forever. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks so much better. So I may use this to mine some stones and all that. Uh, so because I got these like random places where I can do that. But I just made some random pathways down here. So we got a place right there we can mine up there. Got one right here. And then it obviously leads into different caves. And also got one right here. And right here, I think I'm going to make just a giant hole for my sewer drainage to pour down into the middle of the earth because I don't really care about my planet that much, but oh well. I think it turned out great. Been going through adding some glow berries in the sewer system. I really want to start working on this place here soon. I want my sewer to expand all the way throughout my world. I kind of want it to even go out to the lab. So we can, I like having multiple ways to my different areas throughout my world. And such as over here, it kind of comes to a dead end. I want that to, well, I can't really continue this way because this goes into this cave. Well, maybe I could in some way, but it also goes right there. And I also spiced up the nether portal room. Got some glow berries that are gonna be growing down in here. And I added some of those spikes up there. Made that glow a bit up there as well. Don't hurt me, no. I'm a nice slime. Yeah, looking pretty good. And even got one of these. Okay, so I can put some up here perhaps. Oh, even added some down here. Can I make this jump? Oh, I can't make that. Oh. <laughs> that. The missile. The silo. The smokestack. Whatever that thing is. Or whatever it looks like. It looks too much like a dang rocket. And every time I walk past it, I'm like, I don't like it. I like the first part of it, but I should... I think I should get rid of this skinny part and make it the same size as that. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's see if that changes the looks of it. <laughs> I don't know. Before we do that, though, I... <laughs> I just still got to try. I, I'm going to drag these guys around next to mobs and see if it's possible to still get a goat horn. Come on. Line up. Line up with the piggy. One of you. The pig's right here. Come on. Oh, come on. Was I really that late? Oh, my God. Why is this so hard? It's so weirdly hard. I hate it. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh. What? Oh my god. I don't get it. I, I will never get it. Oh yeah. That looks much more like a smokestack now. <laughs> Although I'm not going to put a campfire up here because still, sadly, in this game, like, I don't know why they don't add that, but campfires, I feel like the main purpose of campfires was to be a signaling point for something far away. I know you can obviously cook food on them, but on who cooks food on them? We use furnaces for that. So that's why I feel like it's better as a signaler than actual cooking stuff. Um, and yet in bedrock, you can't, I have smokestacks and that and that, and you can't even see them. You actually have to get really close in this game to see them, watch. Can I see them on this tree? That one, but not that one. See how close you have to be? I hate that, I hate it so much. <coughs> Oh, is this thunderstorm weather? I don't think it is. Man, it has been a very, very, sadly, very long time since we've got a thunderstorm. It looks like it. No, thunderstorm's a little bit darker. I need one so bad. Oh, well, Um, I'm going to go fishing. It's been a long time since I've been fishing, and there might be a chance we can get like a mending book or something. I know I always say I hate mending, but there's a few tools in this game that mending is really good on, and I wouldn't mind getting it, so that's what we get. Oh, XP now floats on water? I didn't know that. Okay, we got two bucks. I also wouldn't mind getting Unbreaking 3. That would help a lot. It's also a good one. Okay, that's garbage. Oh my, whoa! Oh my god. Dude! Is that our first mending book we've ever caught? Oh my god. That is amazing. We also got that. Garbage. Don't need it. Got some boots. Got a saddle. Not a shell. Yo, that is awesome! Um... I don't know what I should put it on, though. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. These both have mending. I'll probably save it for something useful. I'm not sure yet. I've been starting to get into the habit of, like, going...
going AFK in here when I go off and eat or do something. Take a doo-doo. And that's why I'm up to 69 levels. And hopefully up to 100 here pretty soon. I'm trying to get to 100 again. And then go on like a giant enchanting spree. What the? It's so weird. Some of the XP goes over there and over here. Most of it goes over here. Uh... Oh god, I gotta hurry up. Guys, it is thundering. Oh my god. Why does it sound so close? I'm way underground. What the heck? That's kind of scary. Hold up. Hold up. Get out of my inventory. We gotta go. We got things to do. Slime staff. Let's do this. Please nothing burn. Oh wait, I forgot to get some lightning. I didn't have all lightning rods where they should be right now, but... I have some on top of my house, just in case. Did I put some up here? Put one. And then I got one up here as well. And then one over here. Okay. Um, so I don't know. Oh, crap. I don't know if creepers spawn during the day of a thunderstorm. They should spawn, but... Or skeletons. I really need skeletons, too. Oh, there's a skeleton. Okay, we got mob spawns. That's good. Creepers. Oh, creep. Oh, come here. Oh, man. I better wear this. <laughs> Down here, Skeletor. Oh, I thought I was clearing up. It is! No! Why did the thunderstorm... I have one chance. I have one chance. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here before he dies or I'm gonna get you. Uh, no! <laughs> I hit him with my sword. Oh my god, I was panicking. Why? That was the shortest thunderstorm ever. Screw this game. <laughs> you guys shouldn't be in here. Stop. We also made a little meat cabinet last video. Uh. Son of a... Why is that not finished? I should finish that. <laughs> I feel like that's what I say every time when I see it, and that's why it never gets finished. I'm gonna go ahead and answer today's comment question of the day, which comes from Charlie Perez. Have you ever cheated or attempted to cheat? I assume you talk about this world, because that is probably one of the most common things I am accused of on this world, because a lot of people just can't believe that this is all done in survival mode, especially like the first 150 episodes being on Pocket Edition as well. I will be honest with you, the closest I've got to cheating on here was when the mob spawners messed up and I had to go to creative and tap them with the eggs to make them function again, and then after that... I realized, well, I already been to creative in this world. I don't mind doing it again. During the Christmas season, we didn't have snow golems yet, so we'd had no source of snow. So I went into creative and like covered my place in snow. If you remember those episodes, they were like early ones, like episode 70 something. And that was like the biggest mistake ever because I didn't realize doing that, I got rid of all of my light sources on the ground and all of my grass. So when I got tired of the snow, I dug it all up and then it was just mobs spawning everywhere and it was just all bland and blank because I had no grass and I didn't really mind that I did that I didn't really keep the snow so yeah but those are the closest I've ever been to cheating on this world everything else is 100% survival in this world as it will be from here on out and yeah hope that satisfies your question thank you so much for watching everyone I'll see you in the next episode where I have something pretty fun planned I think I hope See you there. Bye-bye.